going on guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing super well we just actually bought another build yep it's a super nice build all-wheel drive six-speed manual hatchback yep. shocks let's go pick it up Alright, just got to IA. Here we go. I was gonna park the vehicle. Get this thing loaded. Gotta support the local IA branches, you know what I'm saying? Gotta pay the people. Frame damage and all. If they don't sell this piece anymore at the dealer, it's really? this rubber piece, yeah. Are you happy about your new purchase here? Dude, of course! strapped in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a drive, see if anything moves. We're gonna go ahead and head down to Chick-fil-A, get a nice chicken sandwich, and then check it one more time. Oh, I should probably take off a few parts so they don't fly away. Yeah. Darn it. Where's the RS? Huh? Here's that. 17. I can see that though. Oh, that's good. That's, yeah, that's a good buy. <laughs> the parts are cheap, it's a Ford. Say what? That's a good buy. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Drive, right? yeah. I'd rather have one of those though. 2500 HD. Nice. Yeah, let's great. Oh, let's try. Yeah, let's do it. Right now, the whole package. As yeah, is. Yeah. The whole package. Come on here. <laughs> See ya. Thanks. Alright, so this thing doesn't have uh, leaf springs. This is a Yukon Denali for luxury. So we actually go ahead and uh, fit it up with some air, air suspensions. Airbags. Airbags, yeah. I'm just gonna fill this guy right up. All right guys, finally got the whole entire thing loaded in. Um, I took off the computer. Hopefully I can save that, I don't know. We'll see. It's it looks smashed pretty bent up. up yeah. But you know, the internals might be fine. We'll find out. All right now it's getting a little cold, so I went ahead and uh, we got inside. I strapped on the Focus completely. We're gonna hit up Chick-fil-A and check the straps one more time. So I'll just hit the road. Shucks, pulling up to Chick-fil-A here. I don't know what I wanna do. Either park, oh, there's no room there. What's that clunking noise? Yeah, don't worry about it. 
Boom. Took Just like that. six spots. Let's go get some Chick-fil-A. All right, guys, finally got the RS delivered to my house. Uh, the problem is I can't really take it out because it won't shift into neutral. I think the transmission is kind of stuck because of the hit that it had. So what I ended up doing is actually I got these plates here, put them on the bottom. So I believe that the transmission is in first or something. And I go ahead and I put it back here. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing with the fronts, but actually the axle on the left side snapped. So, that means that it's free so the only one that's not free is the one on the passenger side so i think i'm able to go ahead and move it so i made this contraption right over here um we're basically going to grab it and move the vehicle out of the trailer let's do it Just so it doesn't jump on me, I'm gonna go ahead and take these things out and then have it slide. Do the same for the other side and keep on pulling. All right, guys, I finally got the car in the garage after hours of ratcheting, finally got this thing in. I'm really excited. I really want to dig into here and figure out exactly what's going on. I want to find out that down here, um, that bracing went all the way in. I just want to know if the engine is actually affected or not. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a time lapse and just start taking apart things like the hood and this bracing and just see if the engine is hit or not. So let's get to work. All right, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I took off the hood. I took off that bracket on top. I'm gonna actually go ahead and I'm bagging and tagging. I'm not tagging, but I'm bagging everything. Just to make sure that I have all the bolts this time. So, I got that all out. Uh, at this point, what I see that's kind of messed up is this AC line is kinked up, but I think I can unkink that, get a pliers or something. So, that's fine. Um, all the AC got away though, that's Kind of nice though, because I'm still going to take them all off. So yeah. Alright, set back the time lapse and continue on recording. All right guys, my buddy Ben's back, so I can go ahead and show you guys a little bit more while talking about it. So if you go ahead and look over here, this is the reason um, why nobody wanted to bid on this car or like why, um, why I want to check the engine as well. When you look down over here, this whole entire uh, rebar, I believe it's called, look where it hit in, all the way right here. So that's kind of scary. Um, so it's like a 50-50 chance whether the engine got hit or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on taking off these bolts and whatnot, and then go ahead and taking that thing out and checking it out. So put this thing back on time-lapse and just get back to work.
All right, guys, finally got the rebar off and huge oof. Uh, everything's kind of smashed in. Look at that. That's crazy. All that much damage there is. It hit the oil. That is like a reservoir, not a reservoir, but like an oil manifold. Both fans are gone. The wiring for the fan is gone. So I buy that. Uh, and then that's if you look, kinked. yeah, down here, that's kinked. That's fine, you can buy that. That's pretty simple. Fuel, or the filter, whatever, obviously. You got the hoses here that are all kinked up. Oh, that's all part of one hose. Maybe I'll buy the whole hose assembly. Oh, intake manifold too. Oh, yeah, intake manifold is- A little is hole you can see in there. Smashed in. Hopefully nothing got in there. Yeah, hopefully not. Hopefully the guy shut it off right away. Yep. All right, so what I'm gonna do now um, is I wanna turn the motor just to make sure that the motor does turn. I didn't know if the clutch is gonna be in the way, like if it's gonna be engaged and if it's gonna move with the in first or second gear. Let's see if we can turn it first without any kind of clutch movement. All-wheel drive system. The CV or, boot? Yeah, the CV boot. I don't know whether I should buy both of them. Look at that impact that happened there and it, look at all that fat crack. Oh, it's bent. So you don't buy aftermarket garbage. All right. all right, check this out right here. Just took off this piece here and just didn't recognize this. Look at how badly bent that frame is. All in there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the frame yet. I gotta still talk with my pops with that, so. Just added some suspension. Oh, right here. Nice. Look at this. Fat bend right there. Yeah, tie end. <laughs> That's normal, right? Yeah. <laughs> control arm too. Right there. Control arm too. The little oh key. yeah, yeah. Yep. Lower control arm. Right here. My transmission oh, yep. mount is damaged completely. So yeah, my transmission mount is completely broken off. Let's see if it actually moves inside the car now. It's in neutral now. So yeah, I bought myself a 2017 Ford Focus RS. Upgraded from the ST that I had before. Um, that thing's sold, but this is gonna be a nice upgrade. Look at this, Montune. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. This is as far as we're gonna get. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, damages that we found on here and also everything is kind of dirty and whatnot all over the garage, but I'm probably gonna go ahead and clean that out um, off video because nobody really wants to see that. And if you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. If you guys like this build, it really means a lot. And make sure to check out our other builds. Yeah, our previous build, uh, we're still not done with it. Our Porsche, and actually our previous build before that, our Focus ST. That's what gave me this whole entire um, Focus ST. That's why I meant like Focus ST on steroids, because literally the damage is exactly the same, except like four times more. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. But the Porsche's on a little weather delay up here in the Midwest. We've got a little bit of snow here and there, so. I mean, I don't see the point of fixing it right now if I'm not gonna be able to drive it at all or enjoy it. Before you guys go, make sure to check us out on Instagram at side.hustle.garage for more updates. All right, see you guys in the next one.